First, in HD, this is 13 Eyewitness News Tonight. I put money into something I thought was substantial and legitimate, and um, it turns out it's not. Local man says he is out hundreds of thousands of dollars after doing a business deal with two men he once trusted. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. And I'm Gina Gaston. We have exclusive details of a lawsuit filed by the alleged victim. In it, he describes the men as Houston's version of Bernard Madoff. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Willie is live in downtown Houston with the details of the lawsuit. Jessica? Gina, that lawsuit was filed here in civil district court last week. The man who's suing used his life savings, hoping to make a little more money. Instead, he says he lost most of it. I mean, it's not like I did nothing. When Frank Sassing signed this joint venture agreement more than three years ago, he thought he did everything right. You know, I secured it with a contract, and I, um, I referenced it through other people. I had documentation. I, I asked for documentation. But almost two years later, he says he started to see cracks, and immediately he knew... Something, something's up. Yeah, something's not right. Now, a quarter of a million dollars, his life savings is gone. And he's suing. They'll get theirs. If there was foul play, I would like, you know, justice to be done. According to the civil lawsuit filed last week, Sassing gave Young Wallace and his company, YKBL Investments, a total of $250,000 over 14 months with the promise of big returns. Up to $200,000 would earn 3%, the rest 5%. The money was to be deposited directly into Sassing's account each month. And according to an addendum to the contract, Winsome Investment Trust, with attorney Robert Andrus as the trustee, was investing it. Sassing says for 22 months he got his payments, but then they stopped. I was taken, yes. The lawsuit names Wallace, his company, the trust, and Andrus as defendants, alleging fraud, conspiracy, and negligence. Sassing's attorney says what happened is simple. So it's a standard, run-of-the-mill Ponzi scheme every day of the week. Hello, I'm looking for young Wallace. Wallace wasn't home when we knocked on the door of his house near Rice. He didn't respond to an email or call either. We tried to go to Robert Anders' office, the one he lists with the State Bar of Texas, but 5644 Westheimer is just a postal center. Number 452, just a P.O. box. So we called. Are you the uh, uh, manager of Winsome Trust? He said he is the manager of Winsome Trust, but wasn't familiar with Frank Sassing or Young Wallace. At least six times he said he didn't know anything about what I was asking and said, quote, there is no scam and I have no idea of any lawsuit. He then abruptly hung up. Hello? I had been in touch with the SEC and um, went to them. Sassing says he's contacted a number of state and federal agencies, including the FBI. And while he hopes the lawsuit will help him recoup his money, he won't invest it again. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Uh, it's going to stand a bank, and that's it from now on. In 2007, the state of California sent this desist and refrain order to Robert Andrus as well as that trust saying they were not authorized to sell securities in that state. As for this recent lawsuit, none of the defendants has filed a response so far. Sassing's attorney says he plans to add more plaintiffs to that lawsuit. Reporting live tonight from downtown, Jessica Willie, 13 Eyewitness News. And as this lawsuit moves forward, we will bring you updates on Eyewitness News out on ABC13.com. And you can also log onto our website to read the documents. New tonight.